another gorgeous day weather-wise across the Oracle Text today with lots of sunshine. Temperatures did make it into the 70s, but now 68 in Shreveport, 71 in center, 66 degrees. The current temperature in Texarkana as we go through the evening hours. Expect a, a mostly clear sky. Clouds will begin to increase late this evening as temperatures uh, slowly fall into the upper 50s by 10 p.m. That's a quick look at your forecast first. NBC6 News in high definition begins right now. Live from the heart of the Arklatex, local news that matters. This is NBC6 News at 5, home of the 2018 Winter Olympics. He was a beautiful person. He had a beautiful attitude. Every time you seen him, he had a smile on his face. Family and friends are grieving the loss of a 17-year-old taken too soon. This tragedy in Spring Hill is the latest in a recent string of homicides across the Arnold attacks. Good evening, I'm Dan Jovic. And I'm Jackie Jovic. What started as an argument at North Webster High School escalated to a shooting at a nearby chapel. Spring Hill police are still looking for who shot and killed Jalen Thomas. NBC6's Alexandra Meacham spoke to his family and friends today and joins us now live from Studio Control with tonight's top story. Alex? That's right, Jackie. Jalen's family is devastated over losing him only two months before his 18th birthday. They say he loved playing football for North Webster High, and he was good at it, too, making it all district by his sophomore year. And they say they want the person who did this to come forward. Good, positive, cool kid, never get in no trouble. Went to school, went to work, and played ball. He loved football to death. He had then, so he said he wanted to go to college to be a football player to make something better off his life and get his mom out. Family and friends of Jalen Thomas say he had one year left of high school and had big plans after graduation. He broke his leg while playing for North Webster this year, but still wanted to make football a career. He was as low as you could get. He was never going to turn your back on you. Every time he wanted to work out and get better at something, he'd call me and we'd go work out together. Great friend. Only thing he wanted to do is get better and better at football. Police say he was shot several times outside of the Harrison Chapel off of Patterson Street. Family members say it was senseless. Is that I'm hurting, my heart is hurting, my whole family hurting, friends. Whoever did this to him, I hope God bless them. Step up and be a man and deal with the consequences. His mother didn't want to go on camera, but says he'll be greatly missed. My son was a very, very loved individual, and I am so blessed to be his mom. His mom always says she's about that nightlife, yes. number 24. And the shooting is still under investigation. Now, the Spring Hill police were limited in the information they could provide us with, but they say they've been chasing leads since last night. Back to you. All right, Alex, thank you very much for that. Well, we have an update now. Authorities identified a man murdered last night in a shooting on Clover Street. County Coroner's Office says 22-year-old Timothy Mark Emery Jr. is the man found shot in the head. She report police discovered Emery around 745 last night. Put these guns down. It's just, just ridiculous. I mean, we have way, way too many instances of this going on. Uh, frankly, getting kind of tired seeing this, you know, and it's, it's happening. Uh, for, for no really important reason. Well, thus far, police say they have no suspects in his murder. Happening overnight, a four-year-old boy is recovering this morning after accidentally shooting himself in the arm. Shreveport police were called to the Colony Square Apartments around 10 last night in South Shreveport. Police say the boy asked a disabled parent to get him a glass of water. When the parent did, the child grabbed the gun and shot himself. Are the early stages of the investigation, which obviously will continue, but from all accounts, it does appear to be an accidental shooting. The child was taken to University Health with non-life-threatening injuries. Police say no charges will be filed in the incident. Well, for the second time in two months, the rapper Mystical showed up in Cano District Court without an attorney. Michael Tyler is charged with rape and kidnapping for his alleged role in a sexual assault taking place in October of 2016. Tyler first appeared in court for arraignment without an attorney in late September. His arraignment is now pushed to December 18th. He's being held on a $3 million bond. A Shreveport K-9 officer helps capture a man accused of beating his girlfriend until she was unconscious. Police say it happened just before 2 yesterday afternoon on Idema Street. The girlfriend told police Jason Veers has 
strangled her and beat her in the head with his knee until she passed out. She managed to escape to a neighbor's house to call for help. Veers is charged with felony domestic abuse battery. Cotton Valley police are offering a cash reward for information leading to the arrest of two bank robbers. Police say the suspects, who were dressed in all black, walked into the Barksdale Credit Union on Monday afternoon with guns demanding money. They got away with $13,000. Police are enhancing surveillance images to get a better view of the suspects. Well, we just need to be aware. I mean, it's the holidays, and a lot of people around the holidays, for some reason, they like to break in places and, and, and you know, uh, just rob places. You know, we just need to just keep our eyes open and pay attention to what's going on and be aware of our surroundings. The FBI is now involved in this investigation. Safety matters and a local business is at the center of what the owners believe to be the most dangerous intersection in downtown Shreveport. They're speaking out after an accident claims the life of a pedestrian in front of their business over the weekend. NBC 6's Markel Sinet joins us live in downtown Shreveport. Markel, what are people telling you? Well, Jackie, I'm at the corner of Texas and Spring Street in downtown Shreveport, right next to the Blind Tiger restaurant. The restaurant owners say speeding is a major problem at this intersection. Now, the speed limit on Spring Street is 25 miles per hour, but the owners of Blind Tiger, they often use a radar gun to check the speed of motorists. And while we were out Tuesday afternoon, many of the drivers were going nearly 40 miles an hour. You take your life in your hands when you try to cross the street. We're trying to attract people into the downtown area, but if it's dangerous from the vehicles, it's not going to attract people. Back in July, a car crashed into the front door of the restaurant. She says since then there have been three more accidents. According to the Shreveport Police Department, there have been a total of 17 accidents at this intersection since last January. Now, the restaurant owner would like to see more police patrols in this area. They also want to see barricades placed in front of the restaurant, not only to protect the business, but pedestrians as well. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Markel. We have continuing coverage. The judge rules the owner of a dog caught on video being abused will not get her dog back. A lady is being treated for a broken leg from the incident. NBC 6's Heather Wright shares what happened in court today, and we warn you, some of the video is graphic. It was this disturbing video posted to Facebook that started it all. Now 19-year-old Shakela Starks is in court trying to regain custody of her dog, Lady. She says she was at school at the time of the incident. I was told she, she might have got hit by a car, so I didn't know what was wrong with her. But I know she was hurting because she was limping. At the time, Starks was living with her boyfriend, whose grandfather is like us Holloway, identified by police as the man in the video. Starks says she has since moved. Her mother, Karen Denton, testifies she gave Lady to her daughter for her birthday in September. And she only found out what really happened when she saw the viral video online. Once I saw what actually happened to Lady, I called the vet back and said, no, it's not just a broken leg. I'm afraid she might have internal bleeding. Some, some other bones might be broken. I need to have her seen. But that's not enough for the city's animal control director or Judge Sherry Jackson, who's concerned about where the dog might live and the time it took for Lady to get medical care. I don't see the owner doing a lot to take care of that animal. We're talking a situation for couple of days before the animal was really seen to. The judge rules Lady will not be returned to her owner. Heather Wright, NBC6 News. Lady's owner plans to appeal the ruling. The Gus Holloway is charged with felony cruelty to animals. Well, meanwhile, the man accused of taking pictures of a boy in a department store bathroom over the weekend has been fired from his job as a teacher at Trinity Christian School in Texarkana, Arkansas. Police say a boy told his father Shane Jones had taken pictures of him while he was in the bathroom. Police charged Jones with invasive visual recording. Meanwhile, Trinity Christian School officials say they are cooperating fully with the police investigation. We, we just want to support our um, community, support the law enforcement, you know, as they do their investigation. We're, and if we find out that it's, you know, if there's anything more to this, you know, we're here for our families and, and we care about our families and just providing a safe environment for our children. The school sent a letter out to parents informing them of the situation and the actions being taken. You can read that letter on our website. It's arquitectshomepage.com. Coming up, President Donald Trump says he has the votes from congressional Republicans to pass his historic tax reform bill. But can he strike a deal with the Democrats to avoid a government shutdown? Details on that later. Todd?
Well, Jackie, today another gorgeous day with lots of sunshine and above normal temperatures. Made it to 74 this afternoon in Shreveport. Looking at slightly cooler temperatures tomorrow, but we will stay above normal. Details on that in your forecast coming up next.